Hi, this is Chaitanya Maladi from EMH Isotope Private Limited. In this presentation, we will understand the credential cycling feature in sale points identity IQ. As part of this presentation, first we will understand how applications in identity IQ use credentials. Then we will understand why credential cycling is needed and in what way it works. Finally, we'll take a look at the advantages and limitations of this approach. Identity IQ enables identity management to a large number of systems with the help of connectors. Majority of the targets require authentication. The credentials for the authentication are stored as part of the application configuration on Identity IQ. When Identity IQ wants to establish a connection to the target system, it authenticates itself using the stored password after which any information can be retrieved or managed on the target system. The service account used on Identity IQ to communicate with the target system would have the necessary authorizations to manage the identity information such an account would be treated as a privileged account and would be managed by a privileged account management solution if it is being used in an organization. Whenever there is a change or an updation of credentials by the privileged account management solution, the application configuration on Identity IQ becomes stale and Identity IQ will no longer be able to connect to the target system. To have a system that can automatically use the updated credentials, the credential cycling feature was introduced in Identity IQ 7.3. Let us understand this in a bit more detail. The credential cycling functionality comes as part of the privileged account management module of Identity IQ. The configuration for Beyond Trust and CyberArk privileged account managers is supported out of the box. There is also a solution neutral approach available that can be used to configure any other PAM solution. Once credential cycling is configured, whenever Identity IQ needs to authenticate itself to the target system, it would retrieve the credentials from the configured PAM solution and use the retrieved credentials to establish a connection. Let us take a look at the architecture of the credential cycling process which involves Identity IQ, the application target and the privileged account management solution. The credentials for the service account are stored on the PAM solution. They are not configured on Identity IQ. When Identity IQ requires to authenticate to the application target, the credentials are requested from the PAM solution and used to authenticate to the target. Once this is done, Identity IQ can continue to perform its identity management tasks on the target system. 
The advantages of using the credential cycling configuration is that it ensures the service account used to connect to the application target can be secured using the privileged account manager. In addition, it also automates the password retrieval from the PAM solution. There are also a few limitations to using this approach. The privileged account that is configured on the privileged account manager should not be associated with any approval workflows as we are aiming at automating the process. The privileged account manager might also update the credentials for this account when it is in use by Identity IQ. To mitigate this, the necessary configuration has to be performed on the PAM solution. For example, in case of CyberArk, this can be addressed by using the dual account feature in application identity management, which allows the use of two accounts in active and inactive modes under the same virtual username. Another limitation is that the service account cannot be associated with exclusive access on the privileged account management solution. This is to ensure that Identity IQ has continuous access to the account. Please follow us on our social media for more technical content. Thank you.